who should you pick for your lineup for the Harris Chain Lakes for the Bassmaster Elite or the Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing? We're going to talk about it. So first and foremost, let me say congratulations to John, who tied me. And if you listened to me last week, well, then you were in the 1% of all of the fantasy fishing people that are playing on Bassmaster. If you want to go on our channel, the group name is Get Your Fish On slash Mr. Bass. Even though he did not participate, and I'm kind of questioning if he should even be on this. But that's a joke. But if you want to go on there, the password is Bass. It's a quick turnaround this week. And first, let me just say, there's a lot of luck that goes into this. A lot of luck. And I should say, I do do a little bit of research, probably a lot more than you would think. And I go and look and see where the people have finished at that body of water in the past. And then some of it comes down to knowing some of them and watching their social medias to see how, what, how they're doing and what they're doing at that lake at this point. But like I said, uh, John Cruz won the first one at St. John's, just like I had thought he would. Um, John Cox did really well. There were great, a bunch of great people that did fantastic, and uh, my hat's off to them. This week, they are going to the Harris Chain of Lakes, which is like literally behind the camera. This is my body of water. This is my hometown. This is it for me. So I'm looking forward to going and watching it and participating and doing some interviews. But uh, this is going to be a different fishery than what they had over at Palatka and the St. John's. There's a lot of grass here. There are the fish, the bass fishing is managed very, very well. Um, they do do spray occasionally, but it's colder now. And we are going to have, as I do this on Monday, we are going to have three or four really warm days. And those fish are going to go from deeper water and move up. The water is going to warm up very fast. I think that most of them, I think you'll see some spawn fish. I think there'll be a uh, majority of them will be post spawn, but I think this is going to be a great opportunity to catch absolutely giant fish this week. So, with that said, if we look at this week's groups, there's five groups. This is a tougher. This is a, a tougher one for me. Like I said last week, there were some guys you just had to have. You had to have Cruz. You had to have Cox. Um, I forgot the other guys. There were there were two or three that I just felt like you had to have. This 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 week is a little bit different. Um, but we'll start with Group E. In Group E, Rick Clun is in this group. Uh, Mike Huff, Mike Iconelli, how the table has turned. We were in Group A in the first week, and now we're in Group E in the bottom in the in the second week. Steve Kennedy, Paul Mueller, um, Jesse Tecarante, who's a, a local, and then Kyle Welcher, who's from Alabama, who's, who's a really great angler. If we go and look at what, in my opinion, Rick Clun has had a lot of a lot of uh, history here, but he's had an 11th place, a 53rd, 138th, and 131st, and 107th. So while he's improved during that time, this is still um, going to be maybe not the best pick in this in this group, but not a bad pick to be honest, because this is going to fish with a lot of grass. The favorite here is Mike Iaconelli. But I'm kind of having a hard time picking Iconelli here. Iconelli's going to do good. Is he going to do great? I don't know. Does he like Florida fishing? No. The record shows that he has not done really well. He's had a 19th in here, but he's also had a 77th, a 53rd, a 4th, and a 71st. So there's some ups, there's some highs, and some lows. The most recent one in 2011, 19th, is a good finish for like an Ellie. Uh, it's going to fish, like I said, this is going to be a different fishery than Palatka, where he just crapped the bed. I mean, 
he was horrible. You don't, this is not the way that Ike and Ellie wanted to start his return back to the elites. But you know what? It is fishing. Sometimes you're on a high and sometimes you're on a low. I, I, I figure Ike and Ellie is going to be the favorite in Group E because of his name. Uh, but I think there's someone better in this group. And I think that person is Stephen Kennedy. He's fished here a couple times. He's had a 24th and he's had a 6th. And if we look at statistically, a couple years ago when he when Stephen Kennedy was fishing Palatka, when there was a ton of grass, he was unbelievable. So I kind of feel like Stephen Kennedy, while he's one of the favorites on here, I think Stephen Kennedy's a really solid pick. But going with Ike and Ellie, he isn't going to have two tournament, bad tournaments in a row. I mean, it doesn't make sense. So I could see a lot of pe people taking Ike and Ellie and also Rick Klun. But for me, it's Stephen Kennedy. In Group D, gosh, there are some big names in this one. From Greg Hackney to Seth Feeder to, uh, uh, to Matt Heron to Carl Jakobsen. Uh, Mark Menendez, Brock Mosley, I love that guy, Brock Mosley, Matt Robertson, Cliff Prince, Hunter Shryrock, uh, Clark Wendlet. There's just name after name after name. Drew Benton's even in this one. Uh, Keith Combs uh, is in this one. I think most of those guys you're going to see are, are the favorites going into this, but you have to know some of the statistics behind it. Greg Hackney has not been really good ever on the Harris Channel Lakes. He's finished 69th. 109th, 66th, and 116th. Uh, 116th. I guess that's right. Uh, Matt Herons finished 80th here. Mark Menendez has had an 82nd, 11th, 110th, 138th, and 9th. Cliff Prince, while he is a Palaka boy, has never, I mean, never had any big finishes here on the Harris Chain of Lakes. And Palaka is going to fish drastically different than, than uh, the Harris Chain. You have people like Clark Wendelit, who's uh, finished very well. He's had a 61st and an 11th, and then Kobe uh, Krieger has finished 12th, 28th, and 64th. And in my opinion, Kobe's the person in this one. I know there's the big names like Feeder and, and Combs and Benton and Auten and Hackney and all those guys, all those amazing guys. But for me, since I'm looking at it from what their past has been, I kind of like Kobe here the best. He's also from Florida. So I think he's probably fished here quite a bit to get to know it. And Kobe just seems like the most solid pick in this group for Group D. We are moving on to Group C and I'm trying to read it off here and then off my notes here because I, I, I like I said, I do do a little bit of due diligence and, and uh, do some checking back and forth and, and figure out who I think it is. As we start to get closer to that, these the, the group A B, and B, we start to see a lot more people in, the, in this, like Matt Array, Justin Atkins, who I just think is magnificent. I like Hank Cherry. Jason Christie can win anywhere. I mean, literally anywhere. Brandon Cobb. Mark Frazier, Jeff Gustinson, there's just a who's who on here, including who I think most people are going to pick is Scott Martin in this pit, in here. Uh, and also on this one is Gerald Swindle. And let's just put it this way. Uh, Gerald's going to be one of the favorites here. But this is one place the G is not going to hit the G spot. This is the Harris chain is not been good to Gerald. He's had a 74th, a 47th a 62nd, a 59th, and then he had a 4th years and years ago. Not a good one. Just the same as Scott Martin. Scott Martin has not been really successful here. He's had a 97th recently, and then a 36th place finish too. Justin Atkins, 101st, and then a 56th. And like I said, Jason Christie can just win anywhere. So you, you could... I could see people, a lot of people taking Christy just because he's just awesome. He's just that good. But if I'm going to pick somebody, and it's not going to be the favorite, I'm picking Brandon Cobb here. I like Brandon Cobb a lot here. And the reason why is Brandon Cobb's had a 27th and a 12th place finish. So if you average that out, he probably averages out as the best person statistically that's fished the Harris chain 
in group C. So take for what take it for what it's worth. Again, it's a lot of luck, man. You're just hoping for the best, but Brandon Cobb's my pick here. In group B, which I think is the single hardest category to pick somebody, there are amazing anglers like Buddy Gross, Chris Johnson, Brandon Lester, Lee Livesey, Brian New, Brandon Palinick, Jacob Prosnick, Bernie Schultz, uh, Jay Ellis, and Chris Zaldane. Just a who's who of fantastic, fantastic anglers. Any one of those guys can win. Bernie Schultz is a local guy. He is from Gainesville. That's about two hours away from the Harris Channel Lakes. I know that he knows this water real well. Likes to fish grass. I could see uh, I could see Bernie doing very well. Probably one of the lower name favorites of the thing. Uh, but when you go on looking back at some of the results, uh, Bernie's had a 57th, a 58th, a 21st, a 17th, a 70th, a 66th, and a 54th. So not too bad. Jacob Prosnick, who's been here, had an 8th place finish recently. Uh, Brandon Palinick, not, while well, did good last week over there in in Palatka. It comes down here to the Harris chain and he's had 125th and a 41st. Leave it, Livesey, couldn't find any information on him if he's ever fished it, but still a really quality angler. Uh, Chris Johnston, who I think should be probably one of the favorites, um, had a first place finish recently here and also 111th. Just like Buddy Gross had a fifth place finish and brought that in with 113th. But my pick here, while I really, really like Chris Johnson, I really like Chris Johnson, uh, I'm going to go with my boy Brandon Lester here. And here's why. Brandon just won the Kissimmee Open two or three weeks ago. Kissimmee and Harris fish kind of a lot alike. Here's, it, it comes down to grass. You get a lot of grass in Toho, and we have a lot of grass on the Harris chain. So he's going to use the same techniques that he did on uh, Toho to fish Kissimmee. He's also had, he had that first place at Kissimmee just three weeks ago. He's had a fifth place finish here. He's had an 84th place finish, and he's had a 45th place finish. Statistically, Prosnick probably is the smarter pick here. What I'm going with here is because of his past success on Toho that's going to help him fish here. I didn't think that success that he had two weeks ago or three weeks ago on Toho would help him Palaka because it's a way, that's like night and day. It's like apples and oranges. Completely different here with the, the Harris chain. This is a, this could be a Brandon Lester week. Uh, I also like the dude too from Fayetteville, uh, Tennessee. Great buddy. Uh, so maybe a little favoritism there but I think it's a solid pick I think if you went with I think if you went with uh, Prosnick you went with Chris Johnson and Lester I think any one of those three guys could do well here in group a you have our boy Brandon card who I should say he and I have fished over here together could be a sleeper I'm just saying it right now, could be a sleeper. Take that, take, just take that. Scott Canterbury's in this category. John Cruz, congratulations to him who won uh, that he won last week. I kind of told you to pick him anyway. Austin Felix, I like him, Micah Frazier. Jamie Hartman was on fire last week. Corey Johnson, Bill Lowen, Chad Morgan Taylor's great here. Uh, Patrick Walters, Jake Whitaker, all these guys are absolutely, this is a, a absolutely fantastic group but there's really only one person to pick here this is not even fair I told you to pick him last week probably gonna tell you to pick him a lot of times this year lines up for John Cox really well last week he was in his home waters in the Saint in uh, on St. John's this week he's in his damn backyard John Cox knows every part of the Harris chain. There is no doubt in my mind. I, I would love to take 
my boy John Cruz or Brandon Carter Canterbury, somebody else. But John Cruz is going to have so much focus on him this week and has fished the Harris chain so well and won so many tournaments, not elite tournaments or opens or things like that. He has done everything on the Harris chain. He's guided there for years. This is where he takes his friends fishing. He doesn't go someplace else other than his backyard. He goes to the Harris chain to fish. He uh, and his buddy, I am I'm, I'm lost his name for his buddy, won the MPFL last week, last year, uh, Angler of the Year. These guys, these two fish the Harris chain nonstop. I'm not joking. It, it, it's like the back of your hand. You know the back of your hand. So does John Cox know the back of his, this back of his hand and this waterway. This is a clear cut. You, it, it, I can understand someone wanting to be different and going with somebody else, like Card or uh, sticking with Cruz, but uh, or or Corey Johnson or Bill Lowe and any of these guys that are going to do really well. But man, you better really hope that John Cox doesn't have doesn't start off good. I mean, he started off last week on the St. John's not really good, and then had a third day that just was unbelievable. John is going to do really well this week, and and there's no question in my mind that John Cox is the best angler for Group A. I'm sorry, guys and girls. I hope this helps you. Thanks for hitting that like and that subscribe button. Hopefully uh, you want me to continue to keep doing that. Comment below if you want me to keep doing this because this is, this is actually a little bit of work. Uh, and I don't mind doing it because this is fun. Again, if you want to get into the league, get your fish on slash Mr. Bass. The password is uh, B-A-S-S. -S. I suggest you go into other people like Hella Bass and all these other people. Sign up for their stuff too and win their prizes too. I think Hella Bass is... Uh, password is visor, all lowercase. That's it. That's all I got for you, man. Throat's hurting. Just got off a cruise. I'm doing this as fast as possible. And uh, I really appreciate everybody. So congratulations again to John, or the winner of last, the first one. We're having another winner this week. So get those, get your lineup in early. And remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. This camera seems really close. I imagine my head even looks bigger. See y'all later. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um kids fishing. <laughs>